This is Gene Key for SkyServe News. The State Employment Agency has announced a six-week extension of unemployment benefits for jobless Texans who have exhausted their claims. The Associated Press reports the Texas Workforce Commission said Tuesday the extension is a result of the unemployment rate reaching 8.5 percent or higher over the previous three months. The commission said the U.S. Department of Labor approved the processing of claims starting December 11th. The agency said the extension isn't retroactive. Letters will be mailed to about 220,000 potential claimants who have used all their benefits and might be eligible for an extension. The agency says the extension means jobless Texans can now claim up to 99 weeks of benefits. A review of Texas prison records show juries around the state have sent 398 convicts to prison with no chance of parole in the six years since the Life Without Parole law took effect. A review of Texas prison records shows juries around the state have sent 398 convicts to prison with no chance of parole in the six years since the Life Without Parole law took effect. Texas was the last state with capital punishment to adopt life without parole as a sentencing option in capital murder cases. The Houston Chronicle reports Tuesday that 110 of the sentences of life without parole came in Harris County. The Associated Press reports from Fort Worth, police say a North Texas woman accused of causing a fatal wreck while going the wrong way on Interstate 35 had been driving with her hand behind her head. Brittany Don Burton of Arlington was jailed Tuesday on charges of intoxication, manslaughter, and child endangerment. Fort Worth police says Burton's six-month-old daughter was alone in the SUV but wasn't hurt. Bond is $200,000 for Burton in the Mansfield City Jail. This is Gene Key for SkyServe News.